What's up, booty babes? Today's topic is how we can stay more motivated to get better results. So my name is Danita. I'm the owner and co-founder of Booty Bands and Barbells. And who's Booty Bands and Barbells? It helps busy women sculpt and tone their body in just 15 minutes a day. Now there's a section here that you'll be able to find of our app that has all of these fun 15 minute workouts that's building the resistance and the lean muscle in your body, which then is gonna speed your metabolism and therefore burn your fat faster. Check over here, you're gonna be able to see our fitness products. So if you're looking for a barbell or dumbbells or booty bands or things like this, so you can have a complete home gym, this section over here is gonna be great for you. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So the four tips on how to stay motivated. The first one is just taking things off your plate. Oftentimes what we do is we are always piling things onto our plate and then it just comes to, I have no time and I'm just so exhausted and I just don't have the, the ability to do it. So then the answer is start to really set those boundaries in your life and take things off your plate. So you can make room to be able to therefore create more of that space for you, right? The second step is going to be following a program that's going to take you step by step through your program rather than just piling it all at once and creating this overwhelming experience. And that's what most programs do is they'll just give you a 50 page packet of what your next steps are and you're just looking at this packet trying to figure out what to make sense with it. So really following more step by step and why that's so important is because every time you accomplish one thing, one, it's gonna give you that sense of accomplishment, but then two, it's gonna make you excited for that next step and they're simple, right? And so as you're building up through that step-by-step -step process, it helps with your motivation. It definitely is gonna help with your results and you're gonna look back and go, how did I get here? And it was because you went step-by-step -step through it. The third step is definitely going to be what are you doing to track results? Because a lot of people end up falling off their motivation or off the wagon per se, because they're just not seeing the results. And so my first thing is instead of if you're weighing yourself and tracking it through a scale, my first suggestion is definitely stop the scale because that scale is not really giving you an accurate measurement of your fat loss percentage. And what you wanna do is actually be doing more things like measurements or photos, they'll be able to really start seeing the body composition. And that to me, my friend, is a way better way of tracking. And if you need support with that, I can help you with it because the focus instead of dieting and restricting and calories in, calories out, the focus really should be about speeding your metabolism, building that lean muscle, and that lean muscle burning your fat. Because ultimately, if you were to really ask yourself, are you trying to just have your person, your loved one pick you up in your light? Or do you want to feel, look good in your clothing? It's a big difference, right? Because as far as your results and what you're tracking, it's a big difference, you know? Just being light is a lot different than how it is that we're gonna look because you can be light, but you've lost all your muscle. And a lot of women come to me and they're like, I'm just skinny fat. When over here, you were able to get that more sculpted toned look. Big difference, all right? And then the fourth thing is really about the forgiveness. This is such a huge one that I've noticed that when we are on a plan and we're sticking to it and we're doing the best we can, what's gonna happen is we're gonna end up falling off, all right? an event is gonna happen, or a birthday party is gonna come up, or a traveling event comes, whatever it is, you're gonna end up falling off. And what happens is if we go into that guilt and shame self-sabotage cycle, then we're gonna find ourselves really asking, was it really the event or that, that birthday cake that, that did it? Or was it that I held guilt and shame and self-sabotage because of that event? Which one's really gonna last longer? This one's gonna last longer. So the biggest key and ticket here of really staying motivated is giving yourself that forgiveness, letting it go. And as soon as you start to really embrace your journey and realizing you don't have to be perfect, it's progression that is going to be your ticket. That is what I've noticed is the biggest success for women becoming more motivated. So let me know if these four tips helped you out. If you are looking again for workouts, go ahead and check out the Booty Bands and Barbells app where you'll be able to find those workouts and maybe a small, quick little snacks or whatever here or there that's got those protein in it to give you that more sculpted, toned fit self. These are my recommendations. Hopefully you enjoyed them. Lots of love, you guys. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'd love to see you in our next challenge. Bye everyone.